Welcome back. Also the prints, no, that's it. Yeah, anyway, um, let's quickly also OBS and now live streaming with uh, the latest release candidate there. Some backup there. Um, let's see, for a bit, how long this bloody Vodafone took this cable should survive that. Anyway, so yeah, Rust, which I just realized that it's not properly enabled. I actually wonder, don't really remember that I changed this something. Let's quickly, well, quickly and quickly, quickly see what's going on there. Mm, I think it should be enabled here in some of those. Okay, let's, let's first see what we have here in. So that is if cross zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that is correct. So there is in somewhere. Mm, where would that be? Maybe config functions or something. That B, I recently edited that. Oh, this is comment. Where could that be? Config. Mm. That should have been something like. Okay, let's uh, maybe we find this better in. Change build. Oh, could I? Did I break this with changing the build? No, actually. Um, did I break the tiers? Did I actually implement optional tool chain stage marks? Actually, I should also check how many of those not correctly substituted packages we have there in the config. Only Rust? Crazy. Ah, uh, maybe I changed this. You know what? How I maybe broke that. Maybe I changed that from stage one to two, and that broke it. So this is in config in actually. Yes, I looked into config in. Did I somehow overlook that? Huh? Or is it? Or I checked for. Okay, what do we have? Cross it's. Uh, enable all. Here we have that. So, cross tool chain package packages like cross for stage two and wipe all other stage marks. Mm, package filter. So we have here stage zero. Are we? Are we only have this for stage zero? So yeah, <laughs> developing coding with regular expressions. What could possibly go wrong? Cheers. Um, I think what we would want, I mean, I could just duplicate that here. Substitute that to um, wait a second. Beginning then. Um, okay, no, this is correct. Mm, cross 
if cross then this are this here are the beginning of the match so selected and stuff so zero one Enable all packages flag cross for stage two. Okay, this is not enabled for one, then two. Wipe all other stages is this, so selected zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, somehow we don't have here enable optional stuff. Mm. Means theoretically we could create this maybe more like universal, but I think for today I just duplicate that to any mm, zero or maybe is yeah you know usually we only used this optional cross compiling for tool chain bootstrap packages maybe it's, mm, anyway curious at this how oh, I didn't realize it before anyway So that would be enabled stuff zero and then that to, oh this is also wrong, uh, or not yet updated, so two, this, uh, does it even, oh yeah, so this is a little bit misleading, this, probably this SED I guess only supports like nine captures, I guess, super amazing limitations, right? Um, so that probably could potentially work, not sure how this previously worked or how I didn't realize that. But yeah, sometimes stuff somehow magically, not sure how, did something and so now that probably is marked, so this is just our internal config format here, for text processing stuff. Um, should that be enough? Is it probably good? I mean, the good thing is, I know we actually have this built already. Let's cancel and rebuild or continue risk five, just that we immediately get Rust building there. Rust C config risk five. Oh wait, why is this not enabled for? Hmm. Maybe I probably we only built this for minimal xorg. Um, the only problem is, let's hope I didn't mix in. I oh, know I didn't because I fear some other, as usual, quite some config changes. Support and enable optional optional cross mark package stage one two something. So unfortunately Rust recurring theme complexity and stuff requires quite some time to bootstrap. Um, certainly it doesn't matter, you know what let's pause that because this is obviously taking quite some 
CPU cycles. Yep. You know, let's take a look if there is some new BPI top. I also saw that the author of our previously packaged previous video, BPI top, actually the somewhat coolest of the Python uh, BPI. Um, I started to write this in C++, so I'm not sure if that is going anywhere. One June seventh. Do we have that already? I have no idea. Ah, oh, that's what we have. Mm. The same author should have B top. No. Where do we have? Do we have B top somewhere? Started to work on a third iteration of bash top, B by top being written C. Uh, better version August this year and will publish. Uh, repo one got the core functionality ready. So probably it's not ready yet. So much to probably underestimating complexity of C++, right? Where did I even... Asperino. Yep, so probably time to get back to some real business, earning money, do some... Uh, do some exact scan. OCR and PDF recompressed today. Mm. And then do I have this in the to-do file of get rid of shared? No, no, maybe not. Yeah, then we can think about what other nice things yeah, to implement uh, for the release, like adding Chromium or some games, also certainly. So the funny thing is, of course, I always do some funny questionnaires here. Um, but probably when, I mean, 38, we had, had times more votes, but guess that means yes plus microkernel, so that would be 75% 76% more gaming. It's probably something though. A microkernel, um, of course my recurring microkernel joke here of e not enough time. We could of course uh, do some uh, demos, right? Um, I will soon continue as Asked in the previous live stream, risk five JIT microkernel. I wonder, did it release Doom source code? Apparently they did. Um, is this probably the original from back in the day? Sound server. Here's also Linux Doom. That probably should just compile, shouldn't it? this build anyway um, we could of course do some nice proof of concept stuff like even running doom on our own risk 5 CPU which probably would be relatively cool um, uh, 
Also this old DOS based source code, of course, at times is a bit near. Um, of course, yeah, not, not crisis in the first month, but some microkernel um, early boot up stuff for x86, EFI, and uh, maybe some open firmware stuff. Um, just some Hello World stuff, and then based on that, some context switching, scheduler, and, and user space driver stuff. And one could have some also drop frames, 1400 up 5.2%, because 4 Mbit is too much for our rated 50 Mbit failing Vodafone Docs' garbage, cable garbage stuff. Let's see now, it's, it's interesting whether Firefox actually builds a little bit more. Might not fully build as seen in other bugs of other Linux distributions. Um, so yeah, just some games. So the problem is, of course, that this DOS source code might be a little bit near. Um, there also was this, um, you can, you can 3D. Um, Where is the original? Is it that one or probably that one? The question is, oh, what is it even? Um, is that all the source of this stuff or? Of course, there, there is some Linux port of that, but they also added 3D and stuff. Of course, back in the day, this DOS game is not that huge source. Mm. Yeah, what, 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 how to even pronounce that in English? What com? What com? Let's check that. Let's Google Translate. What come, whatever. Um, not the most amazing to work with, obviously. The problem with the Linux port is, of course, in the meantime, I, s I think I saw the other day they ported that to OpenGL or something. Um, certainly could support that too. Anyway, that is the problem with all this. So let's continue that here with all this ports, complex, even, even there. I mean, the original port mostly does, and the, the ports and more modern Linux GL stuff. Uh, so, did this finally fix a thing? It did not yet fail, so this looks like it, it's better. Amazing stuff. So that was a little bit faster. Good that we accidentally looked into that. Um, one check mark to have there. I really wonder how I didn't notice that. Strange, really strange. But yeah, sometimes Heisenbugs and state of moon and stars and, and stuff. Um, yeah, but it certainly would, I mean, like QNX demo, think QNX demo of like Doom and Quake running in some user space microkernel stuff. Probably sh yeah, also more drop frames. 1400, so much to 4 Mbit. That's what you get from stressing, stressing your rated 50 Mbit upstream line with 4 Mbit. Yeah, subscript one outside array bonds. Swift type one, aka yeah, amazing stuff, right? Anyway, I still really wonder why this is. Uh, yeah, should be fixed, but isn't. Yeah, leave me in the comments below. Um, of course, we need to start small, um, but there is certainly some cool stuff to do. I slightly wonder, so bug reports say it might fail, at least the previous version, may not sure this is, what is it, 91 or so, 92, at least 91 failed. Mm. wonder if that is fixed in, in 92. 92, I just said, right? 
and I also wonder if um, not even uh, how long did Firefox build? Was it ten minutes on this fifty-nine epic thread dripping fifty-nine fifty X? Yeah, other stuff. What is our Lenovo X13 Gen 2 doing? Can we finally order one? I need a freaking new laptop though. How is this a thing, right? Um, I, I wish I had soon like yeah soon since half a year soon um why do freaking websites need my location and i, I wish is there a global setting like disable this freaking shit globally in the us you can order that now at least you could some weeks ago oh this is intel This is really sad. Yeah, probably they have so limited um, supply. Where is even... They have up to 80 freaking percent. Last Labor Day sale, 80 freaking percent. So yeah, if you need a freaking 80 percent. Where is... Ah, here. Here it is. Wow, this is even... Wow, what... What a shit show. I, I they have... They don't have this in... Germany, but in the US they have already 40 freaking percent off. You know what? Maybe sell them without 40 freaking percent off in Germany. Um, so yeah, there you have it. In the in the states, you can get this stuff. You just can't configure it right, which is a little bit unfortunate. Mm. So yeah, this is only a two card and not configure. Uh, wait a second, 40. So this is really a yeah. This is so sad. Um, it's also crazy that that this high state of the art configuration not sold in most parts of the world. Eight hundred ninety nine dollar off. Also crazy the profit margin, right? If you think about this, um, they certainly still want to make at least ten bucks profit. So how much profit margin there usually is on on this list price, which you don't see, if they can sell it on special days for that much of the 40 percent so yeah i mean so i, I would guess i mean they, they certainly don't want to make a loss right um dash says intel has an embargo for your for lenovo thing but i, I don't think so they list they listed i mean the the previous gen one is sold um they listed as coming soon I just think they don't have stock. Um, maybe, maybe Intel delays that a little bit of giving them marketing money of delaying that six months or some bullshit. Um, completely embargo. I don't think so. Then they they wouldn't list it as coming soon. But um, and also I would expect Intel rather protecting their home market in the US and Europe. But I mean yeah, this this price is crazy, right? For this, I put like I mean. I, the, to be honest, this price I found a little bit high. As is it even um, there? Um, for this, I was really thinking. I mean, I, I need one. I want AMD. This price was was really a little bit highish. But when you see 900, I mean, this this is this is certainly a really good price, right? I mean, not a paid advertisement, but um, I would even find 1,500 reasonable. Um, the only thing is, you can't configure that. This really pisses me off because I would want a better display or stuff. I slightly wonder if you can buy a spare part of higher, although it's 13 by 2, right? I slightly wonder, I'm pretty sure. Do we still build Firefox? Yeah. <laughs> what can you do while you freaking wait for Firefox to build? Well, you could also write some microkernel, right? And not waste your time googling laptops that you can't buy. This is also 13. Actually, let's check here. I mean, the crazy thing is actually, you know what? Do they have a sale also for this? Um, so also, why do they not have a configure option for displays for this stuff? 
And what display do they even have here? A oh, display, I, I just, <laughs> this recording, you just spotted it and then you. Um, so this is, should be uh, 16 by 10. But this is not the most amazing display, right? This has only 400 nits, were they not? I, s I thought they have 400 nits. Um, Yeah, also gets so yes, m maximum sixteen. This is soldered, um, and this is also yeah. Why can't I configure that to thirty-two? So they have some twenty percent off right now, actually. I mean, the ver it's not the worst thing to eventually get an Intel laptop before I never have an AMD laptop. Um, it's also, again, monoculture, who knows, maybe someday there are also vast security vulnerabilities for AMD Ryzen, you never know. And for me, testing is also not the worst thing, I have here epic thread wrapping. AMD Ryzen, maybe soon a thread ripper, um, and certainly not the worst thing to also have Intel for t some testing. So yeah, LVM building there, this, uh, in case you were wondering. slightly wonder boosting relatively nicely Yeah, it's already so I can't cool this more than 100% and this has already previous videos that they are offset plate. I mean the only thing I could do to improve cooling but then I watch the warranty. I could um, um, I, I could send this uh, CPU ha heat spreader down a little bit, right? Um, something I also the CPU prices came down, right? They have no significantly more supply I noticed the other day now inst I paid one th freaking thousand euro also not a paid advertisement not, nothing here is a paid advertisement so yeah, nowadays you can buy Playmobil with this is so crazy I go to your local computer supply for Playmobil um, 5950x so yes 750 so that is of course 250 I mean yeah, although um, sending this down a little bit should, of course, not easily destroy this. Hey, did this build? I oh, know this. this is, uh, we also need to fix this another day. What is even that? Um, recurring theme here you update something as um, innocent as tech, text info. And that also breaks. I usually yodel over that. What even is freaking. Um, Breaking here. Um, why is it even having some custom malloc stuff? Guessing yes. Why does this have some? Hmm. So yeah, this, I mean, again, it shouldn't break usually. Um, with just sending this down, but I mean, maybe, maybe I should just to see how much better thermals we get. Right here needs zinc. This is exactly what's failing. Maybe they could also release a freaking new te text info version then. Preprocessor Mark was owned by the system. Oh, that sounds amazing. 
Let's grab this patch. It's probably one of the last things of our base system that regressed. Oh, I love copy and paste with Wayland every. Oh, okay, to be fair, that was what I marked though. Only every second copy and paste works for probably very good feature reasons. Three, four, I think. Okay, this is yeah. So this build mostly linking. So this is LTO optimizing that usually runs. Yeah, already running. Can't make this stuff up. Epic thread ripping. Ryzen 50 and 50x, and this stuff runs maybe five or six minutes of final LTO link of. Yeah, of course it does. Hmm. What is this here? Change log. Is this only built in expect? Is this lip to be? I think we didn't. One, five. Yeah, I know. Let's. Let's see if that is GNU lib. What is this patching Was it not used? Let's see. Dun. Okay, there is. That is there. Is this other file? Oh, this is mod. No. Hmm. Modules din array of lib modules. Hmm. What exactly is that doing here? Okay, let's distill that down. We don't need the most of this shit. Um, certainly not the change look. And that would be GNU lib. Oh, this is okay, likely stuff. Um, why does this GL diary? Okay, they have you a new file or what? They SED here some. Ah, darn. Complex garbage C source preprocessor garbage for God's sake. Mm. Slightly wonder. Can we YOLO that? Probably will not work, I have the feeling. Problem is we would need to regenerate more auto conf auto make files for the rest of it. I think it should be possible to just preprocess or define some likely stuff away there. Does this fingers crossed? Didn't fail yet. Did it fail so? Ah also Firefox built. Um, amazing stuff. So there. Um, finally we've, we've solved and fixed that regression or Heisenberg. Hello, tech info. 
Yeah, of course it didn't. <sighs> At least now we know what um, would be needed, not the most interested in today. But yeah, recurring theme, what kind of shit I need to waste my time with. Um, Also, yeah, see, we got this not, I mean, how can you even still write code with such preprocessor hackery and, yeah, copy and paste GNU libs, like, yeah, also C is so amazing, you need a freaking GNU lib, GNU lib as used as most of the GNU, like, Ben Utils, GCC and tech info and stuff, plus, um, additionally, of course, uh, glib, um, so sudo, why does sudo, oh this is also, uh, why do I even have sudo in there, do we, don't really want, how did I, I think previously we didn't have sudo in there, I'm not really sure how that, But in there. Hmm. Whatever. Um, actually, yeah, why that is an interesting test. So the question is for us should we ship Samba and mine? At least for some architectures, leave in the comments below. So wine cross-compiling, of course, that makes it always a little bit special here in this. So yeah, then we are in much better shape, didn't even expect to do that. Um, probably should have supported our paying customers for people who don't delay and convert to better paperless office stuff is exactly can also get a PDF recompressed today but at least so we're closer to release um, still have some good um, over two weeks left for our target day that probably should be enough to do some testing um, testing polishing uh, it's in, in much better shape than I thought this I thought this rust thing would be much better a bigger thing than just our own config selection stuff being buggy or incomplete. This also looks like it. Oh, you know what? Was there not a new wine version already? Or did I update? Was there already 6.17 or something? I don't know. It isn't. But yeah, that's it for this video. Should test um, Risk 5. So the reason to test Risk 5 32 bit on the 64 bit, I think it should work. Um, just no. is also I should send the stress risk five patches upstream and for that I actually should test them proper um, stress I think it was risk 532 did someone else work on this the last time was yeah, a year ago as usual wonder why this wasn't applied but recurring theme I also wonder whether they want this via GitHub or oh, via, via the mailing list. Let's see, because they have here. Do they have pull requests and stuff? Does it. Okay, 31 close, so I guess they work with GitHub. Here is even help wanted enhancement April 7th. Yeah, no. we have you have that. That, that is why you want to use T2, honestly, because they're freaking most stuff just works. TM are <laughs> compiling with T TCC. Yeah, good luck. How far do they get? Oh, WebKit GTK. Yeah, probably not shipping that. That is a little bit fragile. Actually, we could check what, what is failing. Hmm. 
Hmm. What is failing here? Oh, this is also already configure what's failing. F I want G streamer. Put parsers maybe. Is this another new? Is this a new dependency? Hmm. Yeah, I need to think whether um, we want to try ship this for some architectures. It's not the most usable, is it? Maybe used at GNOME and stuff, who knows? Maybe I should research that. Yeah. Do they even consider that? No, not interested. Whatever, something. So, last but not least. Oh no, viruses may exist else from the universe. Scientists want fun stuff. Server so street protest breaks out against Bitcoin adoption. 2021. Forget Netflix, some movie fans rewind to VHS tapes. Are you freaking kidding me? After vinyl comes the. I mean, personally enjoying Blu ray though, on the P3, obviously. Mm. Is this like vinyl? VHS tapes more I mean yeah, yeah, I never enjoyed VHS tapes to be honest in my youth. Art form in many ways. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. As uh, it reminds me, I actually wanted to Google Blu-ray uh, 4K Ultra HD stuff. What is the first console that support that? Mm. Just in case I would eventually want to upgrade that. Why is there not a single answer? A simple answer. You can play 4K, yeah, but get HD. PS5 apparently. Anyway, I uh, don't understand that crazy stuff. Um, Hey, Dr. Schubert says, if VHS is an art form, then fixing broken hair. Yeah. So welcome to the new art channel, modern art, fixing crazy build systems and other glorified C preprocessor stuff. And hey, shared files. YOLOing shared files live here on this art channel. Risk five, let's edit, yeah, will it? actually work when we yeah I need to do something with that actually it, it became a little bit better but obviously it's still a little bit there it shouldn't re retouch that but now yeah, whatever let's see if it um, also yeah actually the PS5 actually looks ugly as shit though why did they need to make such an ugly um, so Okay. Until the menu was... Mm. Super slow. Something, something. OK, 
Okay, so PS5 is a UHD Blu-ray player. I mean, the only thing is a bloody um, digital rights management, right? Not not a fan, but that's um, at least compared to the bloody Apple. What is it even called nowadays? TV, previously iTunes, no TV music store or something. You can only the last time I checked, you can only play back 4K from the iTunes store stuff. Um, you can only stream that, you can't download that, and you can't even play back that. The last time I checked on Macs, which is also a wonder if they changed this for their Apple Silicon Macs, but it's also really hilarious that you buy something in the App Store and then you can't download the 4K and can only play 4K on iOS devices, not on Macs. Really crazy shit, right? You have a Retina MacBook Pro thing or Mac Mini or stuff and can only play full HD. I mean, what's the bloody... It's like on the sophisticated devices you can't play 4K at least a year ago or last time I checked. If you manage memory and stuff. Defense comments below. So yeah, um, stuff more building, I think. So except text, 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 and tech info. So we, we need to YOLO that um, before we release. Um, YOLO, text info, GLPC. 34 patch welcome. Um, the imported thing doesn't imply instantly, doesn't fix that. I mean, probably in, in spirit and concept it would work, um, just not as important. Um, certainly, maybe I should make a mental reminder of actually test latest Firefox with GLIPC 234 because maybe they fix this in, in the latest Firefox release. Did I did I actually commit that? Probably I committed that yesterday. Yeah. Um, because other bug reports said doesn't work with content sandbox and, and who knows what. Anyway, that's it for this video. So that is mostly in was it Mesa? Ah, Mesa demos. Um, yeah, and then there is some package selection. Probably we will not ship WebKit GTK for. Um, actually, we could make this so that minimal desktop. Uh, min minimal xorg um, selects WebKit GTK so that on the P3 you could have some browser even slow and stuff and, and WordPress board and the because the way this is stacked the minimal desktop could unselect it so that we don't usually we get more and more packages but we could make it so that uh, minimal desktop unselects that again um, so that on architectures where we build minimal desktop because we have Firefox, you would, we, we don't waste our time and efforts to build WebKit GTK Plus as well, at least right now until some GNOME stuff want that. Anyway, so yeah, um, quite some cool stuff. Also, yes, um, I slightly wonder though, maybe we should also quickly yolo that though. I wonder why does CMake need open SSL, although maybe for digital signing. I have no idea. Um, let's, what else do we have here? Coffee is strange. Yeah, whatever. Mm. Does it even at stage I think we build with CMake um, natively. So theoretically, we could change that to only run this conf stuff on toolchain bootstrap, though. I think it builds with CMake itself, right? If we have... Let's maybe check that. Yeah, running CMake and stuff like that. I think theoretically we don't... Yeah, let's, let's not touch it too much. The only thing is if we disable that completely it would break bootstrap if you don't have CMake installed so that maybe we could check if there is a CMake in your parse then don't do this bootstrap thing but maybe better a second commit though. Um, 
CMake Bootstrap failed and cross compilation disabled in due stage. This is already done. Um, I think this change from you is committed. It's just wanting OpenSSL for some strange reason. It doesn't find it there, what, what the case might be. So this is just like this additionally. Oh, wait a second, did I even? I think it, uh, we, we want. Um, Probably we want that in general, um, maybe we want to simply build it later, but for now we don't need this anyway. It, it could be nice, it's a quick hack, probably good enough quick hack for now. Um, I slightly, we, we could even check open SSL, config, risk 5 packages, and uh, see, make. maybe it's just like building, yeah, we could potentially, I guess, build open SSL. Uh, maybe this goes even away. Let, you know, okay, let's let's check. Oops, that if we just build this earlier as a dependency. Then. That might also fix it more elegantly. Oh, wait a second. Ah, hmm. should also really. Fixes config shared object plugin file clobbering with match. Anyway, so much time already. Um, wanted to quickly do something and then some hours later. So, yeah, open this. Uh, let's wait a second. Uh, oh, you know what? The Linux kernel we don't really need to build there. That usually builds. It's just a test build anyway. So here, did we, yeah, theoretically we could package all those freaking games. NT2, please send patches, um, IO Quake, also we have IO Quake, maybe we should update this, but you, you can Linux port edition and Doom, GL, GL Doom or whatever. Um, we had uh, 38 volts. Hey, we had some couple of volts here during the live stream, amazing. Let's see, maybe that fixes that. Probably it does. Um, we could, however, use type P or I wonder so yeah that built there let's try that again with was it to make with that yeah. Yeah, disable dependency mailing if we don't want to have that. Um, okay, we get this tray. Um, let's immediately. So, this is a tiny little bit improvement. Um, I'll see here. Oh, open this up. That probably is fine. So, I built it a little bit earlier for CMake, for example. And here, oops, wrong. So this is general improvement then for, oh, oh, wait a second, this is also. So, and hide this output. Probably should work like that, right? Uh, also. So, this is a general improvement to 
also otherwise if you build this natively you would always bootstrap that it's of course oh, this doesn't hide this uh, why not type pc make why does ah, this probably is not standard error this is why um so general improvement if, if you natively update CMake then um, you don't waste like half of the build time of freaking build that looks like that uh, would work right let's try yeah it's, it's straight CMake uh, let's maybe try this natively too just for the f to verify that this actually so yeah, go straight to building CMake. No strange. So yeah, so you have actually thought about this some weeks ago, and now we've done this. So um, prove CMake to not bootstrap tiffly if already installed. Improve CMake to not bootstrap natively if already installed. Likewise. Maybe I actually need a spell checker for the command line though. So yeah, amazing stuff. Um, T2 live progress here. Um, sort of kind of amazing. How amazing. More polished it becomes with each day and live stream. Don't, talk, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Also, as usual, when we finally, after one hour, end this live stream, the most viewers. But yeah, you can rewind and find hundreds, if not thousands of videos in the archive there. Hope you learned something and to see you for all the next videos and live streams to come.